I am Dr. Adam Abrams. Strabismus or eye misalignment is remarkably common with a four to 5% chance of a person developing this condition during their lifetime. In many cases, strabismus causes functional impairment with symptoms of double vision, reduced or absent depth perception, and limitation of field of vision. Mild cases of strabismus can sometimes be treated with prism glasses or exercises. Many cases, however, require surgery. Strabismus surgery has more than cosmetic benefits. It is reconstructive in that its goal is to restore normal anatomy, not just enhance appearance. By allowing the eyes to fuse or work as a team, strabismus surgery can enable depth perception and reduce or eliminate double vision. It is never too late to have strabismus surgery. Even if you've had previous multiple strabismus surgeries, the human brain is designed to take advantage of stereoscopic vision. Even after decades of ocular misalignment, depth perception will kick in once the alignment of the eyes is restored. Studies have shown that the visual improvements caused by strabismus surgery can reduce falls and other accidents in the elderly. People often associate crossed eyes with children, but strabismus is even more common in adults. The causes of adult strabismus include trauma, thyroid disease, strokes, and other neurologic disease, and persistent childhood strabismus. Strabismus surgery is not a perfect science and has a 20% reoperation rate. Despite perfect measurements in office, there is a chance that your eyes will under-respond or over-respond to the surgery and possibly require additional surgery. Patients who have undergone multiple strabismus surgeries often have complex situations involving scarring of the eye muscles and significant changes in their eye muscle anatomy. Surgery in these cases is an art as much as a science and requires the expertise and experience of a strabismus subspecialist like myself. Strabismus surgery is an outpatient surgery done at the ambulatory surgery center. However, strabismus surgery is a bigger and longer surgery than cataract and most other eye surgeries. If you've had those types of surgery, you should expect more discomfort and a longer recovery with strabismus surgery. Also, unlike most other eye surgeries, strabismus surgery is done under general anesthesia. This means you will be entirely asleep and unaware during your surgery. There is a wide range in complexity of strabismus surgery depending on the number of muscles operated on and the degree of scar tissue from prior surgeries. Strabismus surgery averages one hour, but ranges from 20 minutes to over two hours. We will provide a time estimate for your surgery. Most strabismus surgery is done on both eyes at the same time, even if it seems that only one eye has a problem. Even in cases where we expect to limit surgery to one eye, all paperwork will typically include both eyes. This is necessary in case findings during surgery require a change in plan and also to allow for testing of the eye muscles of both eyes to make comparisons during surgery. Please let us know if you are uncomfortable having both eyes listed on the consent form. The plan can be adapted, but in some cases, this may decrease success rates. Plan on being at the surgery center for three to four hours. You must have a ride home after surgery. Someone must be available to remain with you at your home the first day and overnight following surgery.